obviously you're aware there are some uh, potential milestones you could pass in, in the Newcastle game. Um, milestones, new records that you could send. No. I don't care about it. Well, I think the fans would be interested to, to know um, how it would feel to you know, go 24 games, see the competitions undefeated. That would be a new record for Chelsea. I'm not looking for records, I'm looking for points. Victories and points. And if possible, in the end of the season, titles. I'm not looking for records. But the way to those things and the result of those things is, is record, isn't it? The consequence of that, but as I was saying, I'm not worried with I'm not worried with that. We just want to, to, to win the, the next match and that's that's all. And personally, you could pass the 400 points in the Premier League mark yourself as a manager. Another thing that is not important for me. <laughs> the only thing that matters for me in the Premier League is that I won the title twice. That's the only thing that is important for me. And yet, you never managed to win at Newcastle. That's right tomorrow. Why is that? You think? Because it's difficult. It's a difficult stadium to, to play. Uh, because there are um, a few stadiums in this country where uh, uh, clearly when they see the Chelsea shirts they make the game of, of their lives and uh, when they play against other teams they look like uh, they're playing friendlies but maybe this is because uh, Chelsea in the last uh, in the last decade become a strong team that everybody wants to to beat. Matic is not is not available to you. No problem. No problem. He's been ever present for you, then, hasn't he? Yes. Diego was was also important for us, and he didn't play, and uh, we didn't want to speak about him. So this time, he's a big player for us that is not playing, but uh, we trust other people, and uh, we forget Matic. He has a little bit of. Uh, have a holiday, a free weekend, which he deserves very, very much. So he will be back stronger, and other people plays, and we trust the other people, and no problem. What's changed? He got one yellow in the first eight Premier League games this, this season, and then four in the last six. Who? Oh. Matic. Matic? Oh. The last one was because a, a fellow player lost the ball and he had to make a, a defensive uh, a defensive transition and he touched uh, the opponent. Sometimes the referees they give a, yet a yellow card when somebody stops a, a counter-attack, sometimes they don't. Um, in this game, Magdin decided to give him the, the yellow card, which is uh, acceptable. I just hope that in every game when opponents they make uh, falls in our players and when we, we start developing uh, the counter-attacks I hope every referee has the same the same kind of analyze which is the correct you stop a counter-attack you get a yellow card so Mike Dean was correct and who, who will start up front? Diego obviously Didier and, and Lloyd both scored in the last game and Lloyd has the, the Newcastle connection that doesn't come into play at all. What about Didier Drogba? Obviously you've spoken about him and maybe even staying a bit longer with the club as a player. I, I also understand he's, he's showing some capability as a, as a coach. Uh, I don't know his qualities as a coach because I never saw him coach. So for me that's, that's a new a new story. My story, my personal story, is that um, he's still a very good player. And if uh, he wants my advice in the future, I think he should stop when he wants, when he feels. Not be waiting for me to decide, not be waiting for the club to decide. Him. We love him. We want him. He is a great football player, he should stop when he wants. After that, I know that Mr. Abramovich is very happy to keep him in, in the club in, 
in every area where we feel and he feels that is uh, useful and happy. But that's after he makes the decision to stop his career, which I don't think is tomorrow. Did you see a coach in him in his attitude? In no, I don't see. I never saw him coach. But in the way he is? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, just, just, just finally from me, um, Petacek's agent is reportedly saying that he's definitely not going to be leaving in January. Is that good? Is that good news? Good. Good news, very good news. John. Jose, the, the way the league's shaping up, is it fair to say it's, it's going to be a two horse race between you and Manchester City? No, I don't say that. So, who else realistically could Man United are 11 points behind you? Who, who it's else? not much. But you, you'd have to lose three or four games probably for that to happen. Okay. You think that's a possibility? If this, yeah. this squad you've got, you could lose three or four matches. And United, so United, you think could win at Liverpool? No, I don't. I don't say that. I say they can win. They can lose, like us, like everybody else. So you think we go down as far as? So how many? Like, I remember last season you said you thought six teams could could win the league. Is that is that still the case now? Because it's a, there is a big gap, isn't there? Mm -hmm. And you're not losing. 10, 11, 12 points. I don't think is. Is a drama at this moment of uh, of the season with uh, so many matches to go. I don't think it's a drama. Well, what I'm saying is your form would have to tail off quite badly, and you'd have to the, the complexity would have to change quite greatly for that for that to happen. That's football it can happen. But surely you believe the squad you've got. That's not going to happen. That's my belief. If I believe another thing, I'm in trouble. But football is football. You've. In the last eight days, you'd have had two trips up to the, the northeast, and you've had a midweek game. Is will that take its toll? How difficult is that? We are ready for tomorrow. Yeah, because it's not you, the record up there of late hasn't been great, has it? You don't seem massively happy today. Is, is that is that fair? You, you're, you seem a bit. I don't know. You, you seem a bit reticent to, to talk. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> If I don't like the questions, if I feel the questions are not appropriate, I don't participate so much in the in the dialogue. So I try, I try to answer okay. in a quick in a quick way to kill your mood. How much you enjoying this season? I mean, you, of, of, of all the success you've had in your career, you, this this must be a great a great period for you, isn't it? <laughs> and you said the, the the 24 games I'm being doesn't bother you. Um, what about what about your players? It, it must be something for them to, to create a club record for the players. It must, it must even if not for you, but for the players. They don't know the record. They're, they're not aware of it. No, they, I don't think they know. They must. Know. I I I wouldn't know if you don't tell me 20 times. <laughs> I don't care about records. Which record? Which record? The record I want is uh, to win the Premier League three times in this club. That's the record I want. OK, can I just ask you one more about, about Newcastle? And obviously when you go up there, there'll be lots of pictures of Sir Bobby Robson everywhere in the tunnel, wherever you go. How big an influence was he on your, on your career, the, the beginning of your career? I told that 200 times. I know, but you're, you're playing... And I don't need to go to Newcastle and to see his pictures in the tunnel, uh, to remember and to miss such a friend. You know? So I don't need to go to, to Newcastle to think about Mr. Robson. Thank you. We'll try again next week. Thank you. Who else would like a go? <laughs> 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 OK.